the last thing we're going to do is, yeah, let's write some code. Why not? This might be embarrassing because I, I'm just going to kind of wing this. Uh, so we are going to look at Reiki. Reiki is one of my apps that detects uh, key loggers. So we will let's see. Here's Reiki. Let me just paste this link in the chat window. We talked about Reiki before, uh, discussing how it can generically detect certain types of key loggers. So it's a great tool. It's open source. Of course it's great, right? It's an Objective-C tool. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I got an email from a user basically saying, hey, there's some issues with the command line parsing. And the latest version of Reiki, I added the ability to do command line parsing. So if we scroll down, let's make this a little bigger so we can read this. We can see that you can run it with the dash H or scan. And it'll do a command line scan detecting any core graphic event, core graphics based key lockers on your system. So I have Reiki running here. So we can illustrate this. So if we seed into applications and do reiki.app contents mac os reiki dash h, we see the usage. That's cool. So we might say, okay, we want to scan the system and then maybe pretty print out the arguments. Well, let's 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 do that, right? So let's do a scan and then dash pretty. Because you know, we like pretty things. We can see this is scan the system and it's found a variety of event taps that are installed on my system. Now, event taps can be used for legitimate purposes. So for example, an uh, Apple utility might want to monitor for certain key presses. So it does that by entering uh, or installing an event tap, which allows it to monitor for such key presses. I believe Siri might do that. Here we can see that we have uh, Siri has shown a, an event tap. And we can also see that via the UI. So if we open Reiki and do a scan, we can see you know Siri is detected. Now, all these other components are signed by Apple. So we can filter those out because normally we don't care about those, uh, those ones. So we do, I think it's skip Apple. And this shows us that there are no uh, non-Apple event taps installed on my system, which is a good thing, right? Otherwise, I'd be a little worried. Um, although, again, third-party applications sometimes install that. So if it's an application you trust, it's probably fine. You know, if you install some Flash update and then there's, you know, an event tap that's been installed, mm, it's probably, probably uh, not good. So the problem the user told me is if they run it with invalid command line arguments, it really doesn't scan. It like kicks off the UI, which is, is not good, right? It should perhaps say, okay, you put in wrong command line arguments. So obviously this means my command line parsing is not as robust as it should be. This is not like a security bug or even you know a big issue, but they have a valid point. So what we're gonna do is we're going to briefly improve the command line handling of Reiki, and then we can push out a new version so that people who are running from the command line, if they run it with the wrong arguments, instead of popping the UI, it actually you know throws an error message. And this is a useful thing. People might be scripting this up to do scans of their systems, uh, you know, remotely or something. And so if a UI is popping up, that would be less than ideal. So here's the Reiki code. This is all open source, so you can peruse this as well. There's various components. There's an installer. There's a, a main application, and then there's a login item that shows the alert. We're going to look at the main application because this is what gets executed when you run it from the command line. So I believe the command line parsing is in main.m. And let me see if I can move this over just a little bit so we can get the full effect. Need a bigger monitor. Awesome. So if we start in main, we can see that we disable standard error. We register crash reporting. We log a message if we're in debug mode. <clears throat> and we handle the H or dash help. So if we run Reiki with dash H, doo -doo -doo, it'll execute that logic, which prints out the usage. So that's good. That works, right? So if you're not sure what command line arguments 
it supports, run it with dash H or dash help. So if you look at the objective C code, we can see this is handled, right? Basically says, if the arguments contain dash H or dash help, print usage and then exit. Awesome. We then come along and we say, okay, if you add scan to the command line arguments, we will do the command line scan. So this is kind of interesting because we can see if we do dot H and then dash scan, it will first detect that there's an H for help and not do the scan, which is kind of right, right? I think if you put help in there at all, it should display the help and not like go off and run a scan. And the order of this doesn't matter because we're using the contains object API, which basically will just scan all the arguments. It doesn't basically say if scan comes before help. So even if we type scan and then help, it should still display the help. So that's good. The problem we saw was though, if we execute other command line arguments, we should ignore those or uh, show there's uh, basically the, the usage, right? So if we come back here and we type like blah, right? This shouldn't kick off the UI, in my opinion. This should perhaps display the usage, right? Say that. So we already have logic to check specifically specifically for the scan. So if scan exists in the command line, we want to do a scan. So this is good. The problem is we don't have any extra logic that says if you call it with any other command line arguments, uh, you know, don't run the, the UI version. And currently, if you don't pass it dash H or dash help or dash scan, it's going to fall through. It's going to transform the app to make it a foreground application. And then it's going to call, call NS application main, which is the main interface of an application, which displays the UI window. So what we can do is we can basically add some more logic here that says, OK, if you didn't run it with dash H or dash help or dash scan, we're going to display a, the usage message uh, from the UI and then exit, right? That's probably more preferable logic. So we can write some code here. We can basically say, okay, let's add a comment. I like to add comments because I invariably come back six months later. And I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? So handle invalid args. So we can say if, and we're basically going to say if there's any other command line arguments, we will basically uh, ignore those and print out the usage message. So we can do that by getting the count of the command line arguments. So we can say if, let's see, how do we, zero is good, one is okay. Obviously there's gonna be, uh, I believe one command line argument is the process name, uh, arg zero, or the first argument is always that. So I think if we say if, yeah, if we say, we'll get the arguments, count is greater or equal to one. No, not one, greater than one, right? One is good. One is what happens when you execute it with no command yet. No command line arguments. I mentioned the process name is always argument zero. So if there are more than one argument, we will display the usage and bail. And we've already checked for these two scenarios. So we're going to be handling the scan. And if so, if the user provides scan, we're going to go off and do the command line scan and bail here. So we're only going to get to this chunk of code if the user has not specified scan or dash H or help in the command line. So let's build this. And let's see if this works. OK, so show and finder. Boom. Let's close some of these windows. Um, come here. And if we run this now with dash H, let's make sure. Oh, yeah, we have to run the whole app. That's contents, Mac OS. And I'll move this over in a second. Um, Reiki.app dash H. OK, it still prints out the error usage, so we didn't break anything. If we do scan, it should hopefully still scan. Awesome. If we do scan dash pretty, it's nice JSON. Awesome. But now if we do like not scan and dot H, and even if we do something like pretty, which is another argument, but only makes sense when you're scanning, 
we can see that now it prints out the usage and exits. So hooray, this is pretty good. So now the user should be happy. Basically, they can run it with invalid arguments and we should just exit. Now, the only thing I'll caveat, and I'm gonna have to dig into this a little more, is sometimes the system executes argue, um, applications with command line arguments, like the, um, I think it's sometimes like their process ID. So we have to be careful in that case because we don't want this to detect, uh, you know, when the user double clicks, if the user double clicks it or runs it in some other manner, we need to make sure that, that the system isn't adding arguments to that that normally we would just ignore and still show the UI. So I'll dig into that a little bit deeper. But hopefully this illustrates how we can check the command line arguments, do some parsing of them. And if there are, in this case, any more than one, and it's not either dash scan or dash h or dash help, we will simply print out the usage statement, which is right here, and then we will bail. Bail just jumps down to here. I use go to's. I know this is like super controversial, but for me, it's just a very clean way to exit out of a function if there is an error or if I'm done with all the logic. Yes, you could use if else and other logic constructs, but in my opinion, that gets complicated, but we're not going to argue that today. So if the arguments are invalid, we print out the usage to standard out, and then we bail, which jumps over the logic which would have displayed the UI. So now you can run Reiki from the command line with any arguments. I love objective C. Woo. And it'll just be like, yeah, go away. Here's how to run it, um, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so this is what I do in my spare time. I fix my tools <laughs> because users report good bugs. So I will test this a little more and then I will check this in and cut a new build. And then this will be posted on the website.